Hello YouTube. Tonight uh it's gonna be a choke takedowns, but I'm only gonna do one because it's so dangerous. I mean very dangerous. Um we're still working on hand bow. And this is done by with the hand bow, the choke take takedowns with the hand bow. The reason why it's so dangerous, because it goes across the juggler veins. You can choke a person out by using a blood choke. But also it has two hidden factors in it. You can break a person's neck. Because it's close to the spine, the spinal cord back here, that if a sudden jerk, sudden jerk, that's all it takes. So um, I'm only going to do one takedown in this segment. It's because it's way too dangerous and I have to be safe in everything, so this is going to have to take some extra being safe. Um, the ones who are going to do this are the ones who are going to probably demonstrate it or anything like that. Please do it very slow, or when you practice this, do it very slow and do it about like four or five times to get down packed. And then once you get it down pat, then you can graduate on your speed, but don't do it fast right off. So see you in the second segment. And this is the second segment. And we're gonna do this in two different variations. I will show from single file to fourth file to ground here. So, come on in. Now, this is very dangerous. Like I said, it's very dangerous because your jump of veins are right here. It's a very vital point. You know, if you're going to really knock someone out, you take your thumb and hit right into that juggler vein like this. Okay? What that would do was send a curl to the brain, knock the person out. So what we're gonna do is not so much of that, but it's this is with the handle. I was just demonstrating what that would do. This will do the same thing but your it's on the wrist thing. So back up this a little bit. Alright. So how we're gonna do this? Very simple. She comes with the left hook. Boom. You block with both arms. And this. This is the real thing, because that will send that arm this way. She tries to do it with this one. Boom! And what we're going to do, we're going to shoot this behind her neck. Boom! Then this comes across. It's like this. See? I had to loosen the grip so I won't choke. So, what we're going to do, what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply a little soften up measure. Boom! That's going to go forward. She's like, oh! So when then I'll do, boom, head to the soft area, the bridge of the nose, and then take you down. Wham, goes down, whack up. Okay. Now with this variation, I'll show it down on the ground. Okay. She's down on the ground like this. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to dissolve them out. <laughs> okay. Now she's down on the ground like this. Let me get it a little further. She's down on the ground like this. What you do? You'll come back after loosening it up. Bam! Hit here. All right. Then 
bump across the face. About that time she'd be knocked out. So, just like that. <laughs> so, on this one, what we're going to do is a frontal view of it. Alright. Okay. So you can get front view of it. Everyone bang the lamb. Alright, back up this a little bit. See if we got this right. Alright. Again with the left hook. Boom. That arm just flies off that way. Boom. See how that goes? Then you shoot this right here. Come across. Grab. And you apply a little softening up measure. Boom! Knee. Right into the chest. Yeah. That splatters the nose. It goes down. It goes down. Then you hit. Yeah. And then smack. By that time, she'd be already passed out, knocked out. <laughs> this is pretty dangerous stuff. If I really applied this, if I really applied this in real actual combat, I would have done killed somebody by now. But safety factors. You got to be safe in this. If you're not, you should be in another line of uh, martial arts. Thanks, YouTube.